Good morning, GMS. I'm Sophia Vicio. And I'm Moses Weaver. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of October 19th. Today is the start of the second nine weeks. Make sure to keep up with all of your schoolwork so you can stay ahead. Good luck to all GMS students during this second nine weeks. Please remember to charge your computer every day once you get home and make sure to put it in your book bag every morning. You need your computer for school. Remember, if you are out of school for an extended amount of time, you will still find all of your assignments on Canvas. You can also email your teacher with specific questions. A quick reminder about the dress code. Remember, all pants must be standard length garments. Therefore, short, shorts, skirts, dresses, and more must be fingertip, fingertip length or longer with or without garments underneath. Jeans must not have any kind of rips, holes, and or tears above the fingertips. Thank you. Thanks for understanding. The 2020-2021 GMS yearbooks are now on sale. Go to www.yearbookforever.com to order yours today. It's the cheapest way to get a legal picture of Mr. Reinhardt. Always remember, if you're going to leave school early for an appointment, bring a note telling the school you can drop off your note in the guidance office during Pride. A healthy school environment starts at home. We ask that you use the parent screening information posted on the GMS homepage as your guide. Students, make sure to let your parents know when you aren't feeling well. Finally, make sure your face mask is over your mouth and nose. This includes in the hallways, in the classrooms, even in the bathroom. Also, make sure to socially distance and wear a face mask when you go to any sporting event. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending, and have and the GMS sports update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Right. Welcome to GMS News Show and interview of the week. I am Drew Norton here with eighth grade family and consumer science teacher, Mrs. Hawker Smith. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm pretty good. Good. Uh, would you like to start off by telling us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, I am an eighth grade teacher here. I've been teaching at Greenwood Middle School for, I think it's 13 years now. It might be 14. I lose track of time. But I used to be a reading and language arts teacher for 10 years, and now I've been teaching family and consumer sciences. So, fun. Uh, why did you get into teaching? Um, I had an amazing third grade teacher and I said, that's what I want to be when I grow up. And then I kept having really good teachers that just kind of reinstated the, or reinstilled that that's what I want to be. So I got into it because I loved it. <laughs> uh, did you ever think of doing anything else other than teaching? Uh, no, it's always been teaching. Always. I have oftentimes questioned it. Like, oh, should I do something else? And I'm like, I don't know what else I would do. Just teaching. <laughs> Are you more of a dog or cat person? Oh, definitely dog. We have two puppies at home. <laughs> yeah, I'm more of a dog person as well. Oh, yeah, they're way more fun. <laughs> mm. uh, do you believe in the supernatural? Um, I don't know. Uh, not really. It's fun to think about and things like that, but I don't know. So I like, do I, li I like that kind of stuff, yeah, but I don't know if it's real. <laughs> okay. Thank you for coming on our show today, Mrs. Hawker-Smith. Have a great week. You too. Thanks for having me. Hello, and welcome to Top Trending. I'm Lily Williams, and let's get started with number three. A new piece of metal was... A new piece of metal called Taste Display was invented to improve taste testing. You can combine flavors and even create your own new flavor designs. However, this is only a prototype, so it cannot be purchased yet. What flavor would you try first? Could this be a hit for Bean Boozled fans? Number 2. Avoid trick-or-treating this year. The Department of Public Health recommends, due to the coronavirus, a lot of people will not go trick-or-treating this year. If you're looking for candy at houses, most people will not be giving out candy. Multiple health departments do not want people going trick-or-treating so people do not get sick. Despite this warning, trick-or-treating has not been banned at this point. Do you think trick-or-treating will get cancelled? Number 1. A toy cat was believed to be a real cat in a donation bin. A London man was taking clothes out to a donation bin when he heard cries of a cat. 
He called the firefighters and when they went in to rescue the cat, it turned out to be a battery operated toy. The story gained a lot of attention on social media. At least the cat wasn't real and no animals ended up being harmed. That's all for Top Trending this week. Have a great week, GMS! Hello, GMS, and welcome to GMS Sports. I'm Maya Lindsay Luther. On Wednesday, October 21st, 2020, the sixth grade girls basketball team plays home versus Franklin. That's all. Have a great day.